Good morning. Um, welcome back to the vlog. This is the second weekly vlog I've done in a row, so I'm on a roll. <laughs> um, it is Saturday today, so it's just the weekend vlog, really. But that's okay because we've got a busy weekend. Oh no, it's Sunday. Sunday? Yeah, Sunday and Monday. I'm going to be filming. Um, because we've got the second ever Hi Ho and Co Insta meet, so that's tomorrow. Um, so today is setup day. So me, my mum, and Nat are driving down to Somerset today. He's just taking me to my mum's. He'll be really pleased that I just filmed him. Um, the car is absolutely full with my stuff, so I hope that they don't have too much stuff because I've literally I have no idea why I've brought so much stuff, but. Pretty much because we need like props for the flat lays and for the um, styling photos and stuff like that. I just kind of bought, you just went through that puddle on purpose, didn't you? Yes, you did. Um, I kind of bought everything that was lying around my house that looked pretty, so I filled the boot up. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna film all the setup and then the event tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to it, should be fun. We made it, so I didn't film on the way down here because we were chatting too much, quite frankly. Um, but we made it down to Somerset, we're at Blackdown, so the shepherd's huts are over here. Um, I'll give you a little tour later because honestly they're just incredible. I could live in the one I'm staying in tonight. Um, I'm just grabbing my camera and then I'll go and show you the inside of what Emma is calling the tea room. But it's basically like a big... Um, don't really know what you'd call it, like a a unit, a room, basically a space where we're kind of setting up for lunch and that kind of thing. So everyone's just making it look pretty. Go down. It's supposed to do it itself. Okay, right. So I'm going to show you the inside of the room. So this is our hut. They're all just leaving. They've just dropped boxes off. We've got all the props in here for tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you the lights in there have tripped, so we've got to get someone to come and sort them. How amazing is this? It's like Dimpsy, the one I stayed in at Emma's, but it's a double wide. This is the bed. It's got a stargazer roof. And over this side, is this not the most gorgeous place? So this is where me and Nat are sleeping tonight. And then in here, you've got the bathroom, because I was worried it was only a bath. Double shower, copper, toilet, everything. I'm just so in love with it. It's so pretty, I want to live in here. Um, so basically, 
to explain a little bit more this one after this day the display huts this is a display hut at blackdown shepherd's huts where like their like, workshop is and all that stuff and they kind of rotate the display huts so this one's been here for quite a while now so after this day i think at the end of february it's going to emma's where dimpsey is so this will be her second hut um so it will be available to book i'm not sure by the end of february if she's got some stuff to do there when it gets there but soonish so i will let you know anyway because i'm gonna blog about it but yeah thought i would just show you around my boudoir oh look yeah this in the middle the two huts are joined i just love it it's so cool in here it's so idyllic right anyway i think we're gonna we've pretty much set everything up now we've got to get our bedding to put in here because we've got to change the sheets because these sheets we're photographing in here tomorrow with the groups um so we thought if we brought our own sheets then we can just swap them out for tomorrow so we don't have to photograph dirty sheets i mean might get makeup on them who knows and then i think we're gonna go back to emma's and have a takeaway and finish we've got goodie bags to pack and stuff like that so so this is the venue so you've got the office is here hello <laughs> and then mum is sleeping in this shepherd's hut here this is the little toilet shepherd's hut, although both of these have got toilets in. And look, they've got a little seating area and then there's another hut over here which is like a mobile office. Yeah. Everybody's Instagramming the flowers. Look how pretty it is. Good morning. It is Monday and we are well and truly underway with the hi-ho day. Look at the state of my lens, hang on a sec. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, so it's Monday, um, the hi-ho day is underway and I've forgotten to film so far this morning. Last night we went, sorry, trying to get out of your way. <laughs> um, we, we went back to Emma's, we had the Chinese and we filled the goodie bags, which are insane. I will show you them later. Um, and then this morning we have started our first session so I've got my team, my first team in my hut um, and they are styling photographs of different brands, loads of brands have um, contributed today and given us gifts for the goodie bags and all that kind of thing. So we've, we're talking about how to style an image um, why that's beneficial, why it's beneficial to tag brands and to have them repost your content and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so that's what they're cracking on with and I've left them to it because I was just getting in the way because they're all quite happy to get on with it. I've got lots of bloggers um, and photographers in my group which is really good because then they kind of understand um, what I'm talking about and why we're doing it and I can relate to them, they can relate to me. So yeah been fun so far so I thought I'd go and show you some stuff. rather idyllic doesn't it I'm so glad the weather was nice we're going for a workshop tour well, he was building a house we built a house for um, he made the first couple at home and then moved here in about May 2011 so when we first came to this site Quite heavy, we like to be um, <laughs> so yes, when we first came here, everything this side of that hole in the wall was our workshop. Um, and now what we do in this part is we make up the oak chassis, the frameworks, the roof structures and the self wheels. Do all that in this side, all the wheels and turntables and stub axles are made in a foundry in Charm, which is about five miles down the road. A lot of the oak that we use is, it's European, but there's a sawmill, in a village called Lopen, which again is sort of five miles down the road, so we get it all kind of from there. 
There's more people, don't worry. There are, we have got like <laughs> Just you. It is often this tiny. Yeah, just with these soft hands. Like, okay. um, so, oh, here comes Bella. Um, so, but we do finish that time, we do self film So, if anyone feels kind of. Uh, The newest unfinished for families. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god. I know. How incredible. Yeah. Do you know what's in there? What's in there? Wardrobe. Wardrobe. Somewhere to put the child. Yeah. When she's naughty. Yeah. Barney's bed. Yeah. So this mirror here turns into a television. So they've decided to do a little child, do a little caravan and make that event. Yeah. 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 Um, all known as Mr. Hi Ho, that sort of stuff, and uh, <laughs> sometimes sort of stuff. Um, if the party is good enough, you will see me on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> I just have got to say, uh, we this is the second one of these that um, that has been run, and I totally and utterly appreciate quite how much work has really gone into creating what I hope you all enjoy and have as a phenomenal day to day. It has been. Emma and Rhea and everybody else who's involved in the project. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Emma and Rhea mostly who do all the, all the hard work and then get everybody else in, but you guys are just absolutely phenomenal all the way through. It's been it, to the extent that, I don't know, everybody's been sharing Shepherd's Huts and I said to everybody this morning, how was your, how was your night's sleep? Well, my night's sleep wasn't brilliant because I was a little bit, I, I was a bit self-conscious about rolling over and, and nudging the bum. <laughs> So, um, but I also have to say a massive, massive thank you, and I will give them an opportunity if they would like to have a word as well to all the other guys that have been involved today. So it's Hi Ho and Co. The Co is well, there's blokes with boots. <laughs> A bloke. Thanks, Ben. Also known as Stag. He's an absolute legend. Would you like to say a few words about Fairfax a minute? Not really. <laughs> I mean, you know, nobody might know us. If you need an introduction to the brand, that's absolutely fine. Should we, should we do a brace on hand of who's got Fairfax boots on? Because I've seen lots of times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's quite a majority group. So it's good. We're obviously getting the name out of And that's my job. So. Um, we've also got the amazing Albion Saddlery. <laughs> which I've just been learning all about. I mean, I, I just think it's absolutely fantastic. I, I, do you mind if I just say a few words about you guys? <laughs> I have no idea. It's a family-run business, totally nothing. So I go ahead and I say, so how, how long have you been involved with it? Uh, since I was about this big, <laughs> with them all cutting the saddles around me and all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's incredible. It well. Yes. They're also unbelievably loyal. They've supported our business since William was 17 years old. They made oh, wow. So good. Oh. They've so much to be down 50. <laughs> 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 so in any other saddle, their loyalty and their commitment to really producing a brilliant product is second to none. So it's quick. Oh. There you go. Yeah. So you don't even have to sell your brand. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie and George. What can I say? The redhead in the corner. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. These guys, again, I've known them from the shows for a few years. They do this amazing array of hats, feathers, boots, bags, everything. Not boots. And it's just absolutely, it's not boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's coming next year. Oh. Um, so that's absolutely brilliant. So, and as, as everybody can see, Matt, um, poor old Chris is going to be busy again this year because Mel's going to leave him for the second time <laughs> to run his own show. So absolutely fantastic. <laughs> um, and Mackenzie and George, Chris was up to oh, yeah. very, very late last night. Yeah. So I'm going to land for you oh, with Hi Ho and Co on. I'm, I'm aware of that now. Yes. Can't say my name, sorry. 
Um, and, um, and he was also very kind that he made something lovely for you from goodie bags, mm. also, which is a I real treat. We're almost done. So we're almost done. Ruth is just putting goodie bags in alphabetical order so that they have some kind of system. Um, but yeah, we had an afternoon session, we had lunch, it's all very lovely. It's okay, you can talk. <laughs> it's not like you have to be silent in the background of my vlog. <laughs> um, yeah, very successful afternoon session. It was really good because the bloggers um, wanted to talk a lot about pitching to brands and that kind of thing. Am I in your way? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we're nearly done. I think we've got like an afternoon tea, a little chat from Emma probably. Oh, and Ria, um, who is losing her voice, so that should be fun. Um, and then goodie bags and home. Good morning. It is Tuesday. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning. I have just got up and we didn't get in until about 11 o'clock last night. So I was absolutely shattered. It was well worth it, but very 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 long couple of days so i was very tired so um i didn't take my makeup off so i think i've got like half an eyeliner thing going on which i appreciate is a great look to finish this vlog off but yeah that's what i wanted to do i just wanted to finish this vlog because um i didn't talk you through the goodie bag yesterday it is quite simply phenomenal so i had to talk to you about that and then i just wanted to round up and chat to you about how the weekend went because it was all very manic and I didn't really get to talk to you quite as much as I would like to have, so I thought we'd do that now. So I'm just going to talk to you about this goodie bag first. Where can I put you? On top of this? <laughs> Doesn't everyone have flying saucers on their desk? Yeah, that works. Excuse the mess in the background. Again, we came in and like dumped all the stuff and went to bed last night. So this was my goodie bag. As you saw, we were setting them up yesterday. <laughs> it's just incredible the stuff that we've got in here so first of all <laughs> we had biscuits for the drive home but i didn't eat them on the drive home um because i was too busy chatting so i'm gonna eat them in a minute with a cup of tea and then we had some lovely vouchers and that kind of thing so let's look at those first a gift certificate from dressage anywhere sadly i have no pony to ride so i can't use it but for people who do have a horse fabulous uh 12 percent off of hi-ho this from ria she has these quote cards and i liked this one i thought this was quite appropriate and quite fun so i'm gonna put that somewhere around my desk i put in one of these which is a mini version of my princess wears boots print um and then on to the big gifts so let's start so Albion provided um, a little pot of leather soap and leather balm, which smells incredible. Um, one fell off the table and broke yesterday. And I was sniffing it. It's amazing. I'm going to do my boots with this. And then I have Blackdown, who make the shepherd's huts, made us all a chopping board, which are just so adorable. And these will be great for like flat lays and stuff. So I'm very excited about that. And what a lovely gift, considering they really didn't need to gift anything whatsoever because they let us take over their entire place for two days. And then I've got Fairfax and Favour. Fairfax and Favour, I think, gave most people um, handbag tassels, but they ran out. So I got some boot tassels instead, which are rather lovely, aren't they? I can put them on my uh, Regina's. Jewels provided scarves for everyone which are gorgeous i've got a navy one i think it was navy red and yellow it says jolly on the bottom <laughs> mackenzie and george are bringing out luggage tags this year so they made everybody a luggage tag and they personalized every single one they went through the guest list found out everybody's initials and personalized every single one so it's this color on this side with beautiful details. They're just, everything they do is just so fabulously crafted. And then it's cowhide on the other side and it's the dotty pattern that I love. I really want one of the bags in this. I need to just get round to getting it. But is that not such a lovely personalized gift? I was blown away by that. And last but obviously not least, I have one of the brand spanking new 
rainbow beads from hi ho isn't that lovely can you see it is a rainbow bead is that showing up yeah this is one of their new products so that's very exciting is that not the most amazing goodie bag you've ever seen <laughs> just how generous of all these lovely brands um it's such a privilege to work with every single one of these brands uh, i feel very 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 lucky so let's talk about the actual event I, I don't even know where to begin really it was just incredible it exceeded every expectation it surpassed last year's insta meet um i have no idea how we or emma and hi ho and ria are going to top this one next year i mean obviously we're all involved in the organization but ria and emma are absolute magicians emma is a force to be reckoned with what that woman can achieve what both of them can achieve together and what that team can achieve and i am just so privileged to be a part of that team is endless is unbelievable they every time emma puts we have a little group chat going on when we're organizing these events and every time emma comes on there and she's like oh i've met this person and found this brand and they want to be involved and i've pulled off this amazing feat and i've met this caterer out that this drinks person who are going to provide drinks for everybody all day long and it's just like how firstly how do you meet these amazing people she has so many incredible connections with all of these lovely brands and secondly how do you get them to do what you want them to do she just has obviously incredible persuasive techniques um and ria is very much the same the two of them together are just incredible and it is such an amazing um honor to be, to work with them and they just inspire me so much and i have so much time and respect for them and for all the other guys that were involved as well so rachel from sweet images photography who's down in somerset she's incredibly talented um ruth from dressage anywhere is like an organizational mastermind <laughs> she she makes me feel incredibly disorganized and i need some tips from her at some point and melanie who runs mackenzie and george i just love to pieces and obviously their brand is incredible and their products are just beyond beautiful so the fact that i get to work with them is amazing and i feel very 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 lucky and very grateful um but not only that i had two groups yesterday in my workshops um in my hut <laughs> and everybody is so lovely so lovely and the one thing that i regret slightly about yesterday and i think maybe partly because i was so tired and baby brain is definitely set in it was that i didn't get to speak to more people more but the people that were in my groups were so lovely so enthusiastic so passionate so willing to learn so interested um which obviously makes my job when i'm talking to them about um the content so much easier <laughs> i like i'm the kind of person i don't mind i like teaching people i like mentoring people i like um sharing things i've learned with other people i'm not very good at kind of standing there and just talking at people i like it when people ask me questions and in both of my groups yesterday i had a lot of people asking me questions um which was so lovely because that means then i can kind of get to know their business a bit more and i can i can tailor whatever it is i'm talking about to to them and kind of relate it to their business and help them understand why it's relevant for them how they can use it going forward and both of my groups had some really really interesting brands and upcoming brands and bloggers and that kind of thing and i loved being able to help them and help them see what i was explaining and why that was relevant and helpful for them so i hope that they got something out of it i know a couple of people came up and said thank you at the end and said that they enjoyed it so that's always really worthwhile and also just everybody else as well i had so many lovely comments about the baby and so so many people wishing me good luck and um coming over and giving me hugs and all of that which was really nice there's a lot of people i didn't get to speak to which i'm gutted about but 
hopefully we will do it again and everyone will come back and I can have chats with different people. Um, there was a lot of new faces that I'd met, there was a lot of people that I'd met online um, and then and finally met in person for the first time. Then also I have to also thank, I mean this is turning into a bit of an Oscar speech isn't it? But I want to thank my mum and Nat because they were troopers. Over the last two days they've worked really really hard. My mum made a cup of tea for every single person at the event I think um, when, when everyone got there. Which you know she'd paid for a ticket so she was there as a, an attendee but pitched in she i think she quite likes it because it gives her something to do and um rather than just kind of awkwardly mingling but you know her and nat nat helped with everything i needed carrying everyone kept telling me to put things down and stop carrying stuff and just, like sit down and stop working but uh you know nat kind of followed me around taking things out of my hands and helping me with anything that i was doing um and i think they both had a great time as well we had a lot of chats in the car that were inspired by what they'd learn and things they'd maybe learnt but didn't quite understand um, or wanted to expand on. So they were both absolutely full of it on the way home so I know that they had an amazing time. I think that's about it. I've talked your ear off for 13 minutes so far. I could literally go on and on and on. It was an incredible event, an incredible venue. Everybody there was so up for it, so game for learning and for getting involved and for being supportive of others and and that's what it's all about, like it's just so precious and so special. I hope, I'd love to think that maybe other brands might take the same initiative and um, do something similar because I think it's just working so amazingly and we're building this community that is just going to be invaluable going forward. Um, and yeah, I think Emma and Ria are really largely to thank for that. So I just can't praise them enough. <laughs> I'm going to stop because, like I said, I could just keep going. I could talk about it all day long. But you don't want to watch a vlog all day long. So I'm sure you've got things to be doing. I have things that I need to be doing. Um, but I am mostly going to have tea and sit on the sofa today because I am so tired. I really, really ache. I think I've done something to my hip and I'm pretty sure someone has run over my back. <laughs> but um, I'm looking forward to a couple of days indoors now. So anyway, I need to get this wrapped up because I need to get this vlog online and I've got a blog post come in with loads of photos from the event as well. So if you were there, have a look at that because you might be in some of them. Um, and if you weren't there, have a look and hopefully it'll inspire you to come next time. Thank you to everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go and make a cup of tea. Bye.